Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge Behind the Paws episode. And today I am going to be telling you guys how I have a more than six pets on my Sims 3 lots. So as you guys may know if you play Sims 3, you are normally only allowed to have six pets per family. You can't have more than six cats or six dogs, six horses, whatever combination thereof that means six of those animals on a single lot. But clearly I have a lot more than that. Just in Moss Clan alone, we we have several pets. We've got, let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. We have 13 cats. And you have been asking, Siri, how is this possible? What black magic is this? Well, I assure you guys, there is no magic. It is just the amazing NRAS mod. And I will be showing you guys how to download and to install the NRAS mod in just a moment here. But I want to put a little disclaimer. I have this many animals because my computer is extremely nice. So we custom built this computer specifically to be able to run the absolutely gorgeous world of Sims 3. But Sims 3 is very, very, very hard on computers. So if you do not have a newer computer, if you do not have a lot of RAM, and if you do not have a really great video card, I do not recommend using these mods to have more than six cats at a time unless you are willing to put up with your game potentially crashing quite a bit and having some other issues. So just keep that in mind when you are um, getting ready to install this that there may be issues with your game. You may have your save files corrupt. You may have problems if you are pushing your computer beyond what it can normally take. So do not add in more than the max setting of animals and sims into your household if you are not sure that your computer can handle it. And always make sure to back up your folders, your save files, before you try out new mods. And this also won't be a guide into how to make mods for The Sims 3 or how to like put the mods in the game for the first time. I, there's tons of documentation out there. I highly recommend checking Google because it's so easy. And once you start dabbling in putting mods into your game, it can be so much fun. So let's go ahead and look at the website where you can download the NRAS mod and I will talk you guys through which ones you specifically want to look for to be able to have more than the max number of pets in your household, how to move them in between the households using the edit town ability, and how to set it up so that you can be sure that you can always try for baby even when you're over the max number of cats in your home uh, so you can continue to add to your clan. So let's go ahead and check out that website. All right, so are you guys ready? This is the website that you will be going to in order to find the mods that you need from the NRAS collection in order to have the more than the max number of sims and or pets inside of your household. It is an absolutely amazing site. We are just touching on like the very, very, very tiniest tip of the iceberg for everything that the NRAS mods can do for you. I actually have almost every single one installed and I highly recommend if you really love customizing your game and you're comfortable with installing mods into your sims games that you look in do all of this because it can really transform everything about how you can play Sims 3. So I adore these mods. However, it is a little complicated in order to figure out how to use them for the first time. So I know when you come to this website, it seems like a lot and there's just news everywhere and you're so confused. You don't have to join anything. Don't be confused and think like all of this about posting and joining. You don't have to worry about that. That's just if you want to interact in like the discussion posts and the revisions that have to do with updating this wiki space. Don't even worry about that. What you guys are here for is a lot simpler. If you want to dive into this mod and kind of discover the complexity of what it can do and how it can permanently alter your game in amazing ways, I highly recommend that. There is so much help and documentation in order for you to understand how to use these mods. So before you start leaving comments everywhere like, help, help, I don't know how to do this, stop and use Google for one thing because usually somebody else has already had that question. This is a mod that's been around for a long time. It's very stable. I personally have zero problem with it. I don't worry about it in my game whatsoever. I just back up my game as usual before I try it out. It's amazing, but if you guys are having trouble, there's so much help. There's quick links, there's like frequently asked question guides, there's gameplay guides and tips. The tips are really cool. Just to give you a hint at what you can do with these mods, if you come over here, you can look for your question, like how to add a sim to the household. And then this will tell you a quick description of what that page will tell you about, how to adopt children, work around for the social worker not coming up. So this is also a great mod if you're having issues with uh, the game just not working properly, it can often provide workarounds to those things. You can set up aging, you can set up aliens, you can set up so many things. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Big lemons. I want the game to stop giving big lemons and the sloppy jalopy to inactive families, which is 
<laughs> so many of these things you might not understand unless you're actually a long time Sims 3 player and you'll recognize the sloppy jalopy ends up being like tossed into people's inventories when you're not playing with a family. You can work on like issues with Bone Hilda, adding Bone Hilda in. So this covers all of the games and all of the things you can do in the games. So you can like tweak and just change and tune so many different things for all of the expansion packs. Like fairies, I have altered the fairies quite a bit. Um, you can make hybrid like supernatural creatures. There's so much you can do. Just look at this. This is amazing. This is just absolutely amazing. Now, what you guys want to focus on though if you want to add more pets and more sims to a household is coming in and you want to go to master controller so we'll go back to the front page just to guide you guys through it again this is not a easy it's easy but it's not simple it's an easy mod to install but it is not simple so if you want to actually understand everything about how to do it you need to come and just spend a little bit of time doing some reading yourself but it is pretty simple to install if you're comfortable with installing mods in sims 3. so we're on the main page we're going to come on down and you need to get the master controller. So click on master controller and you need to install one of the versions of the mods. So you're looking at these versions, the newer versions right here, and you're probably going to want the base mod. That's the version that I use. You need this. You need the master controller in order to run all of the other modules. All of the things you see here are modules you can add on to the master controller. You need to have the master controller first though. So I have the base mod and that gets everything working. That allows you to add in more than the max number of sims to a household. But to be able to see them properly, you need a couple other things. So you have your master controller. What you're going to do is you're going to come down, you're going to click on this. This is going to go ahead and kind of guide you through and you are going to look for the download. You're going to hit download and you're going to download it and then eventually move it into your Sims 3 mod folder. But you need to make sure that it is the correct version for what kind of game you have. So just always double check to make sure you're not downloading a mod, say like the occult mod. If you don't have any supernatural Sims, then there's no point in having the occult mod in your game. So you need to make sure that you're using the right type of the mod for whatever you may have, whatever version of the game, however many expansion packs you may have. But the main thing you're going to need is just right here the master controller come hit download and then you can tuck it from your download folder into your sims 3 mod folder and voila that's all it takes to get the master controller into your game now you also need to have the portrait paneler so portrait panel this replaces the display in the game where you can only have a certain number of portraits up on the left side for you to be able to click from your sims this lets you have up to 24 por portraits at the same time in any order and you can actually set filters so if you have more more than 24 sims on a lot, which if your game can handle that with the master controller, you can get it to be that many sims on a lot in one community. And then you can swap between like which portraits you want to see. This one's a little bit more complicated. I have not yet gotten to the point where I've used more than 24 sims, but it is what allows me to see. We often have about a dozen sims and pets on a single household. It's what allows me to see all of them at the same time, be able to click on them and affect their interactions. So you definitely need this if you are going to have more than eight like sims or more than like six pets, whatever order of sims and pets combination you're going to do on your lot, you need to have this if you want to be able to control them. So portrait paneler. Same thing, come down, you're gonna to go to the base mod, you're going to make sure that it lines up properly with the versions of the game that you have, and you're gonna download it, same thing, pluck it up out of your downloads folder, put it into your Sims 3 mods folder, and it should be working the next time you run your game. I use several more of these other mods and the ones that I find very, very useful for my Sims 3 Warrior Cats challenge also include the mover. So you wanna have the mover if you want to be able to very easily, yeah, removes the greater than eight, yep, yep, yep. You wanna be able to move your Sims very easily between households. And so what this lets me do is I can split my Sims into different households and move them back and forth even if that lot already has the max number of sims and that's what I do for the movie scenes if we have a cat from another clan who I need to borrow for just like a few minutes over on another lot in order to play them long enough to get a movie scene that's how I move them around but those are just three and again it's the same thing you just go to your base mod 
You just go in, you hit download, pluck it up out of your downloads folder, and you are going to plunk it into your Sims 3 mods folder. And voila, there you are. And I use tons of the other ones because I absolutely love all of these. If you, oh, the Woohooer, I almost forgot. The Woohooer is going to be one that you definitely need if you want your Sims, your cats, to be able to woohoo and try for baby without having to just use the Master Controller Instant Baby Cheat. The Master Controller itself comes with a cheat where you can just instantly cause a pregnancy and instantly cause a birth. If you want it to just kind of be a little bit more along the lines of like, oh, they're trying for baby every time, you need to make sure you have the woohooer. And so I have that one installed as well and it affects uh, your sims and it affects your animals. So just keep in mind that one can be considered perhaps a little bit more adult for the special custom moodlets that it provides to your sims. Um, but that's about it. Just the moodlets are the only thing that I've noticed that might be a little bit on the more higher rating side. But those are some of the key ones. And again, it's the same thing. And you can actually, as you see, they have several varieties of woohooer or even several different things you can add in for more places for your Sims to woohoo. But that doesn't have anything to do with like the, the pet part of things. So you guys don't really have to worry about that unless you want to just dabble in that. And then it's just going down and seeing if there's anything else you think would be nifty or useful for you. I have several of the other things installed in order to be able to control my world a little bit better and keep it nice and clean and keep it really organized. So I highly recommend all these things but that's all it takes you want to really research these mods because I'm still learning all of the time about new things that I can add into my game thanks to these fantastic mods but that's all it is is you just download master controller you want to have the portrait paneler woohooer perhaps the mover perhaps and you plunk them into your sims 3 mods folder and run the game so again I'm not going to teach you guys from the very very beginning how to install and use sims 3 mods I'm just going to point you guys in the right direction because there is a wealth of information out there that can help you out so much more than I could possibly help out when it comes to learning how to install these mods and honestly Google is your A++ best friend for doing this because it will really help guide you through any of the bumps I promise if you run into a problem somebody else has probably run into the problem and if you Google it it'll already have the solution that you can work with or work around Sims community is really great at that they don't really put up with having something broken for very long so don't forget that the help documents and all of the frequently asked questions and some amazing tips and advice so you can just like jump in here and find out things that you can do with these mods or even in the game that you may have never known you would be able to do are just waiting right here for you then you just come to the website so all of the links will be in the video description below and I wish you guys luck at being able to have your lots as filled with sims and animals as you want and do not forget my warning you guys just because you can add the sims to the lot does not mean your game will handle it very well if you do not have a computer that can handle a lot of sims or a lot of pets or a lot of cats on a single lot, then this mod isn't going to change that. You need a computer that has a little bit more of updated space for RAM and a better graphics card if you want to be able to have tons and tons of animals on one lot. So don't stress your game out and crash it too much. Never forget to back up your saves on a regular basis, not just when you add in new mods, but definitely before you add in new mods. And I wish you guys luck in whatever you choose to play. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.